Hello! In this video, we're going to be looking at the footer layer group, which does not do what you think it does. Now, I just got off the phone with my client making this little website, and uh, this particular client thinks it's very important that we have a violator on this design, and they want a red arrow to be constantly po pointing at the picture of uh, Astrid Piazzolla and Nadia Boulanger as the footer is moved up and down the page. And so I've made this uh, big ugly arrow right here and uh, the client loves it. The only problem with this arrow is it's outside the boundary of my footer. Remember my footer layers down here and the things that are inside the geographic area of this footer are automatically put in the footer. But this arrow is outside the area of the footer. What will I do? How will I make it follow the footer? This is what the purpose of the footer layer group is for. So I'm just going to make a new layer group and I'll name it um, stay near the dash footer. So the dash footer hint is used on a layer group where you have things that are outside the footer that you want to follow the footers. And I'll just make sure my little arrow is inside this layer group and now will be set. And so the my arrow will maintain its relationship to the footer and follow it as the footer moves around, even though it itself is outside the uh, boundary of the footer. So let's just go ahead and uh, um, build this. So I got to scan the document. All right, and let's uh, uh, build it. Here comes the browser. We are done. And there you go. You can see, I think already, oh, you can see already that as I drag the browser window up and down, that the arrow is following the footer, even though it is not part of the footer. This is what the footer hint on a layer group folder is for. It's very special purpose and not generally what people think it is for.